Yang Guifei was called the Yang Yuhuan. She was one of the four beauties of China. This video is about her. Yang Yuhuan was born in 719 during the Tang Dynasty. She grew up in Yongle with three sisters. She lost her father when she was about 10 years old. After her father's death, her uncle took care of her and brought her to Luoyang. She was extremely beautiful and well-educated. She also had a talent in pipa, a Chinese musical instrument, and dancing. When she was 15 years old, she was invited to Emperor Xuanzong's daughter Princess Xianyi's wedding. In there, Princess Xianyi's brother Prince Li Mao fell in love with her at first sight. Prince Li Mao's mother, Consort Wu, also liked this beautiful girl. In the later of the same year, Yang Yuhuan was married with Prince Li Mao. They spent a happy life for three years until Consort Wu's death. In 737, the Consort Wu passed away. She was deeply loved by the Emperor Xuanzong. The Emperor felt desperate by her death. Eventually, the Emperor moved on. He was attracted by Yang Yuhuan. In 740, the Emperor Xuanzong arranged Yang Yuhuan to be a nun in a temple in the palace to get rid of her marriage with Prince Li Mao. Five years later, the Emperor bestowed his son a new wife and made Yang his noble consort, Gui Fei. Soon, Yang Guifei became the favorite of the emperor. Both of the Yang Guifei and the emperor had talent in music. They together composed Ni Chang Yu Yi Qu. Yang Guifei composed a dance to match this song. This dance was so amazing that people said they only could watch it in heaven. Yang Guifei was not only beautiful, she also had the same interests with the emperor. They spent more and more time together in the inner palace. Eventually, the emperor ignored his duty as a ruler and spent all his time with Yang Guifei. To please Yang Guifei, the emperor promoted her whole family. All three of her sisters got titles. Her cousin, Yang Guozhong, became high official and later became the prime minister. The Emperor Xuanzong hired over 700 experienced embroiders to make clothes for Yang Guifei, and also hired hundreds of experienced craftsmen to make jewelry for her. Yang Guifei really loved Li Qi, but Li Qi's were grown in the cities hundreds of miles away from the capital. To keep the Li Qi's fresh, the emperor sent many officers to deliver the Li Qi's by rapid horses. Those horses were used to deliver urgent messages between capital and the other cities. Because the emperor satisfied whatever the Yang Guifei asked, many officials tried to please Yang Guifei and her family to get promotion. The Yang family rapidly collected huge treasures by selling government positions. With a favor from the emperor, the whole Yang family spent a luxury life for about 10 years until Alu San's rebellion, An Shi Zhi Luan.
An Lushan was a general and a military governor of the frontier districts. He well knew how to please Yang Guifei. He sent Yang Guifei countless valuable presents. He even was adopted by Yang Guifei as her son, although Yang Guifei was twenty years younger than him. Eventually, he got the totally trust from the Emperor Xuanzong. He was allowed to control a strong army. However, An Lu Shan was too greedy to be satisfied by this. He was eager to be the emperor, with his army became stronger and stronger, and Tang's power became weaker and weaker. In 745, An Lu Shan launches a rebellion. Quickly, his army took over the capital city. The Emperor Xuanzong, with royal family and Yang family, escaped. To Shu, it was a hard escaping. When they arrived near Ma Wei Po, the Tang soldiers could not control their anger. They killed the Prime Minister Yang Guozhong and forced the Emperor to kill Yang Guifei. Just in case she would arrest Yang Guozhong, Yang Guifei hung herself. And died at thirty-eight. This is the story of Yang Guifei. Please enjoy the Ni Chang Yu Yi Wu from the movie Yang Guifei. Thank、you